So I've just arrived from Lentz in Ogage is the Era 3 version of the Deutsche Bundesbahn BR64 tank locomotive. Um, we've had the Era 4 version, uh, DRG and East German versions come in. And this is kind of the main event, it's the one that's everyone waiting for. So you've got the usual features, it's uh, like the others, heavy die cast body, the side tanks really provide a massive amount of weight, uh, as does the chassis. You've got the normal Lentz features like the power pack and power seeking, where it actually will go and try and find power if it's ended up parked on a dead section of track. You've got the LED lighting, sound, and of course the digital and coupling. I'll get the, the smoke up and running. Uses standard Soiter or Soiter smoke fluid. So the new version of the BR64 uses magnetic sensors on the motor that know its position at all times, and that all that information is uh, fed back to the decoder for to give it driving characteristics and to keep the sound and smoke in synchronisation. I just noticed when I've unpacked it that the actual side tanks stand well away from the boiler. It's quite hard to see but uh, when you pull it out of the box you can see that there's air gap the full length of the side tank, like the real thing. So it's a really quite impressive model. I'll just turn the sound off and we'll just have a quick look at the running characteristics without the sound. What it does is it runs the, the fan on the smoke generator for a bit to just cool it down. Oops, I've left it running. Hang on. There we go, that's what I was looking for. So by going to the magnetic motor control, uh, the sense of control, um, you get rid of back EMF. Which means the actual running of the loco is silent. very impressive. So I've cleared a little bit more space um, just to give it a decent run and see how it runs at higher speeds. Smoke is really effective as the speeds increase. And there we Just are. a quick postscript uh, following sort of comments about previous Lentz locos. The coal um, covers up electronics in most of these locos, so they fill every space they can with the, the power packs and everything. So they do provide with each loco a bag of real coal, which can be glued to the top. Just be careful not to have too much liquid flowing down in behind. So just use quite a thick glue if you can. Um, and that will make the coal area look a lot more realistic. Uh, it's just one of these things that they don't do in the factory because it makes the box absolutely filthy and uh, it's not a great presentation for a new loco.